Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be talking about bokeh and resizing uh, plots. Let's get started. So first off, let's go on and create up a new file here and I'm going to call this uh, bokeh uh, resizing pi. And let's go on and get uh, our initial imports in. So from bokeh.plotting, we're going to import the figure and we want show as well. So let's also go on and create some data. So first we'll do X, and again here we'll do something like one, two, three, four, five. Uh, y here is going to be something like, um, I don't know, three, four, four, uh, five, one. Uh, and then let's go on and also create up um, a basic figure. Uh, create a new plot uh, with and here we're going to be adding in specific sizes okay so first P is equal to our figure and then we're going to set here a title is something like uh, uh, plot resizing um, whoops comma always remember uh, to put in your commas in there um, I have a tendency to forget those sometimes so we'll do a plot width here and we're going to set this to um, 350 uh, plot height here is going to be our 250 um, our X axis label here is going to just be um, X and our Y axis label here is going to just be set to Y. Uh, and we'll leave that B for now. And then let's go on and go over. And again, here, here we're just talking about actually setting a very specific size. We want it uh, 350 by uh, 250. Um, and then we're also going to um, add in our scatter plot. So or, or, or well, and, and again, in um, remember in uh, bokeh, it is actually circle. So we'll do something like p dot uh, circle, and we want x, y, and we'll have the fill color in here to be uh, blue, and our size here is going to be 20. And then let's do uh, show. So show our, whoops, P. All right, let's save this and we'll run it and we can see what, what's actually creating up. Okay, and we can see here that this made up um, our nice plot. I'll, I'll go on and blow it up here uh, so we can see it. And you can see that this is just, again, we just used everything that's uh, basic a basic plot in here. Now we want to go on and actually change the uh, width and the height of um, this particular uh, graph okay and uh, so let's go on and now one thing that we can actually do so we could go in here right and change it but let's say that later on we want to maybe programmatically change it so then maybe we have user input and they want to kind of resize everything um, then we can actually go and um, add in a line here and so we can say change uh, plot size and so we can do p dot uh, plot here we can say plot let's do the width first and let's say that we want to change it to 450 and then p dot plot and let's make this um let's make it skinny all right skinny and long so it'll be here we'll change the plot width to 150 okay so let's go on and run and then, uh, whoops, and I actually changed the wrong, uh, notice here I did width and width, okay? So this needs to be height, okay? So again, make sure and always double check yourselves whenever you are uh, plotting things. And again, you'll definitely be able to see the issues uh, when they arise. And again, I misspelled height, there we go. And so now you can see here that this makes this this nice long and skinny uh, plot. 
okay? And this is, uh, again, this is just, we're just setting in these kind of static sizes in here, which is, um, uh, again, it's kind of nice. But one thing that I personally um, like to do, okay, because again, notice here, this is just static. It's not, it's not gonna change anything whenever we go. So I can actually put this back down to uh, maybe it's original size here. And, and you can see that this is kind of the original size. Um, now let me go on and go through and how to do um, something with responsive plotting, okay? So you want to actually maybe make it, um, so let's actually go on and get rid of this and I'll, I'll just comment this out. And let's go up here and instead of this plot width um, here, we're actually going to change this line and we're going to make this the sizing mode, okay? And what this is going to do is this is going to allow us to do something like this, this stretch width, okay? And this will actually go on and will stretch out. So I mean, before we even do anything, what we'll see here is that we'll have that size and it will actually stretch out to kind of fill the width of whatever our screen is. So if I run this, notice it will go on and resize itself to that width. Now we, we did, we didn't tell it to uh, fit, the, uh, stretch the height. Okay, we, we kept the height static. All right, but then we wanted to stretch the width. Now what is nice is that if I go on and do this and I resize, notice that it will stretch as we are going about um, changing and resizing the window. And I think this is actually very helpful because um, it adds this a little bit of um, dynamic resizing to it. And it's a, kind of a nice little uh, change that you can do. Um, <clears throat> now you can also add in different types of sizing modes. Again, you can, you can do that for the height as well. So for example, you want the whole thing to kind of stretch and everything and stay together. Um, that works as well. And I would probably say if you're doing something with like, um, a dashboard or something like that, I would probably go on and do the same thing. So if you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.